Hi, I'm Kath Noakes, and I'm a Professor of Environmental Engineering for Buildings at the University of Leeds. Ventilation is really important in how we manage COVID-19 and for other respiratory infections. And the reason is, is that the virus that causes the infection is in our breath. When we breathe out, we exhale particles and other people can breathe those particles in. There are a lot of things we can do through opening windows, opening doors, we can use CO2 monitors and have more awareness of how we use rooms. Identify areas of poor ventilation. You can use CO2 monitors to look for those areas which may need a bit more attention. You should regularly monitor to make sure that you've got accurate CO2 readings. Do this when the room is occupied and for at least half an hour at a time to make sure the reading is right. You should also do it if you change how you use the room. There are lots of factors that can affect the CO2 reading, including the number of people in the room, the activities they're doing, the where you place the sensor, and even the weather. You should let fresh air in regularly. Even just 10 minutes opening a window per hour could reduce the risk from any virus that might be in the air. Try and make sure that your blinds and curtains are out of the way, and you can also open windows and doors more widely during breaks when the room is empty. If you can open a window or a window and a door at opposite sides of the room, that's even better. You'll get much better airflow. In winter, it can be much harder to balance temperature and ventilation in the room. But even opening windows and doors by a small amount can make a big difference. And the reason for this is when the weather is colder, you can actually get more airflow even if the opening is smaller. Your CO2 monitor doesn't tell you how much risk there is of COVID. What it does tell you is an indication of how good the ventilation is in a room. So if the CO2 monitor is showing about 800 parts per million or less than that, that tells your ventilation is good. You don't need to do anything else. If your CO2 readings are around 1,500 parts per million and are regularly higher than that, that's an indication that there's probably an issue with the ventilation in your room and you should start to investigate more seriously. And if you've got readings between the two, you should try and open windows, open doors and adjust your ventilation to get those readings to be lower. You may find that you need to recalibrate your CO2 meters occasionally. So if you're getting very high readings in rooms that you think should be well ventilated, that's a sign that there might be an issue with your monitor. And if you have two monitors and put them next to each other, they should give you a similar reading. You can take them outside to a sheltered place or place them right in an open window. And if you leave them there for about half an hour, they should then give you a reading that's below 500 parts per million. If it doesn't, your meter might be faulty and you should contact the supplier. If your ventilation is poor, the first thing you should do is to see whether you can do remedial measures such as maintaining windows or getting ventilation systems fixed so that they work properly. But if you still find that you can't get enough ventilation, then you may find that an air cleaner is a good solution to help manage ventilation in the short term. Air cleaners work by drawing the air in a room through a filter or through past an ultraviolet light to kill or remove virus particles from the air they don't ventilate a room and they don't reduce the carbon dioxide that you breed on your monitor. So they only solve part of a problem. There are a lot of things to consider with air cleaners, like how many do you need and whether they might be noisy, but they can be a useful solution if ventilation is difficult in a particular room.